Some new songs, then maybe uh, if I can hit, like hand fist my way through a couple old ones, I'll play them for you yeah. guys too. But, uh, this is a brand new song, and it's I guess it's a it's a traveling song, and it's a song about friends, and it's called Four by Four. Two blown speakers and four wheel drive. Yeah, I'm leaning on my buddies just to stay alive. Whiskey and beer on a Friday night Yeah, I'll call you in the morning cause I'm feeling alright Cause I got a two-pack a day One step away from the deal I won't see you in church on Sunday Driving and for gold. If it wasn't for this weather, we'd be making that show. Salt Lake City's a long way from home. I got plenty riding with me, so I'm not alone. I got a two pack a day. One step away from the deal. I won't see you in church on a Sunday, but I'll see you at the bar on a Saturday night. See you at the bar on a Saturday night. I don't know where I'm gonna sleep, but it's alright. I'll show it. Sunday morning, come down here, I feel the same, yeah, I feel the I got a two pack a day One step away from the deal I won't see you in church on Sunday But I'll see you at the bar on a Saturday night See you at the bar on a Saturday night See you at the bar on a Saturday night Yeah! Good time uh, oh, yeah. driving long distances and uh, and playing music for small groups of people. Uh, it's been fun. I'm sort of tired, but I guess that's just part of it. I mean, you can only spend so many years sleeping on floors and drinking way past last call of different towns. It's been way too long since I've been here in Pittsburgh. There was a time where, thanks to Brian, uh, Pittsburgh was probably uh, the for me the most played city outside of Boston, which is cool. I'm pretty proud of that because I love this part of the country. Mm -hmm. Western Pennsylvania is really beautiful. Yeah. Brian once said to me on a road trip that Pittsburgh is the Paris of Appalachia. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that. It's what they say. It's what they say. I repeat that to, yeah. to, to it was also, I repeat that every once in a while. It was also <laughs> called by a Boston journalist, Hell with the Lid Off. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's pretty take good. your picture. Yeah. I'm going to play. Diversify. Yeah. portfolio. I guess a lot of, <laughs> uh, you know. I guess a lot of people associate uh, the city of Paris for lovers, and I guess it's often sort of. So I'll play a love song because we're in the Paris of that. <laughs> <laughs> good connection. This is, this is another one. I had a really good time. I had a really good time writing uh, a lot of these newer songs, and I tried not to take it super seriously because at the end of the day, like, I'm really not doing this for money. I'm doing it because I really. I like doing it. I, I don't like mm -hmm. doing it. I love doing it. It's fun, it's fun to write songs. It's rewarding when you come up with that, that verse that you. Mm -hmm. That you wrote and you're like, oh man, I'll get back to this like in six years. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, and when you do finally complete that song, or you do go in the studio when you record an album and it's done, it feels really feels really good. Uh, and this is a song. Uh, and this is one of my favorite songs off a record that won't be out until March, but I have compact discs. Oh, and I'll leave some of you with them. It's no. I know, right? They make great beer coasters. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, I don't even have anything to listen to CDs on yet. I have somehow like probably 500 of them now if I have. Uh, so anyway, this song is called Anywhere With You. Take away my cigarette, take away my beer. I don't give a damn for that stuff. As long as you are near, you can fly me out to foreign countries, drive me down the street to the pub. When you ask where I wanna be, I have to tell the truth. Where else I'd rather be than anywhere with you? And drive me down that country road up to the mountain top. Fly me to the moon and back. Thank the stars above. Oh, I could be out for a couple drinks with some other girl. When you ask where I want to be, I have to tell the truth. Nowhere else I'd rather be than anywhere with you. If you think about me, I hope you feel the same. Though there's a miles between Hope we'll be together on a fine day Lonesome I could cry I couldn't bear the thought of her With some other guy Oh, I hope he's taken care of her Hope he treats her right Hope he knows I care to have her You with me tonight Nowhere else I'd rather be Nowhere else I'd rather be Nowhere else I'd rather be Than anywhere with you Yeah! Love it. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. This thing's coming for sure. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have a beard. And, uh... <laughs> When I'm playing the harmonica, uh -huh. so, sometimes uh -huh. it will drag little pieces of my uh, face hair out. Yeah, it'll and, bite you. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll get you. Yeah. And uh, and it can be painful, but I try to maintain composure. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I'm putting I'm putting my own health and safety on the line <laughs> here for you guys. <laughs> Noted. You know. <laughs> I would do that for you. I would also tune my guitar. Uh, I was on this trip as far south as Asheville, North Carolina. And if you've ever been in the Smoky Mountains, it's really beautiful. Between Asheville and Knoxville, I took the opportunity uh, to drive up through Smoky Mountain National Forest. And uh, you get up high in elevation, it's almost 6,000 feet above sea level, uh, which is pretty high. It's not. It's not the highest that I've ever been, <laughs> but, uh, but it's pretty high. And, uh, and when I arrived in Knoxville to play the show, uh, I think a little bit of the, the elevation fucked with my 
guitar and I couldn't get this thing in tune. Normally, I've had this guitar for a long time. It's been quite a few places, I think, but normally it works really well. And yeah. on that particular night, it did not, largely because of the elevation. Uh, I'm going to play an old song uh, uh, for you guys. And, and old for me it goes back to 2014 when I released an album called Back East, which, uh, which when I was making it, I didn't really know what I was doing. I just thought I really wanted to write songs and release songs and when I think back to who I was then and what I was expecting out of it, uh, I think a little more clearly now because I didn't realize what I was doing but I was creating a network of friends all over the fucking place and, and that sort of has become like my whole message is like I don't care how many people I play for or how much money I make doing it, um, I'm just really thankful. To, to know a bunch of people that are supportive of DIY music and and have met so many really great artists and be able to share yeah. nights like this where you know you're rolling through town and you, you get to hear other people's stuff and and hang out and, and it's great you know what I mean it gives me a reason to be somewhere and a way to connect with people and for that I'm very thankful but uh, this is a song called I'll Sleep When I'm Dead it's a ballad I wrote it about insomnia but uh on this particular trip, I've just been having a good time and, and uh, every night, so I haven't slept much. <laughs> Always had a restless heart. Tried to quit, but I just wouldn't know where to start. Well, this spinning in my head. Never felt to save alone in my own bed. Oh, I know I sleep when I am on the ground Oh, right now Cause I know I sleep when I am on the ground I sleep when I'm dead Below, underneath my head Leave me roses by my grave Broken bones my life set Might not ever live to see the light of day Oh, right now I know I sleep when I am on the ground Every morning I regret the night I'm in Sleeping on the floor really ain't that bad I know I sleep when I am on the ground Oh, right now Cause I know I sleep when I am on the ground Oh, right now Cause I know I sleep when I am on the ground yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna play a cover song um, I, 
I have a few uh, really strong influences. Uh, two of which are from Boston. One of which is my friend Dave Wells. Brian has uh, traveled with Dave. Um, when I found out you guys were doing that trip, I was so excited for the both of you guys because you're both super talented and also just awesome, really interesting, eccentric people. Uh, so it was a good time. Was, was it fun? Yeah. We had lots of talks in the oh. Jetta. Oh, I'll bet. Yeah, that uh, Jetta's made a few trips. Like 1,500 miles of Jetta. Yeah, I'm traveling in the Jetta. And you guys got pretty far south on that trip, huh? New Orleans. Yeah, that's pretty far. Um, well, Dave Wells is a great guy, and he's a terrific songwriter. Another one of my really strong influences is a guy named Lenny Lashley, who's, uh, who's in a punk yeah. band called Dark Bus. They're from Boston. And I played with Lenny uh, for a little while myself. But <clears throat> another huge influence of mine is a band from Fort Collins, Colorado, called Drag the River. I don't know if you guys ever heard Drag the River, but they're, uh, they're so fucking good. Uh, and I'm going to play a song. I love this song. Chad Price sings this song. But uh, it's written by a guy named Bill Stevenson. Bill Stevenson, I don't know if you know Bill Stevenson, he plays drums, he's a drummer in a band called The Descendants. He also played in another small band that not many people have heard of called Black Flag. But, uh, but Bill, 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 Bill Stevenson is a super talented guy, and he has this great pop sensibility to his songwriting. This is a heartbreak song, and I guess from my perspective, and I've gone through this and I know a few people have, I feel like this is a song about dating somebody, having it fall apart, and then having to see them with their, their next lover. It's called The Way She Used to Smile. See this picture and never forget It was taken on the night we met And I can't help but think of the day When we talked about him running away See this picture, it's all I have It reminds me of the times we had We had a fight Maybe a few. Now she's with him, and I'm with you. Did you see the way she smiled at him, like there's nothing in the world but him? It reminds me of the way things used to be. She don't have to say what her face says anyway. That's the way she used to smile at me See this van, it's where I live It's the one we took vacations in And this picture says a lot Nothing remembered, everything forgot This new picture, there's nothing left all along I've been kidding myself Maybe someday Think of some way To let her out of my grasp Did you see the way she smiled at him Like there's nothing worth a thing It reminds me Of the way things used to be She don't have to say what her face says anyway Cause that's the way she used to smile at me We've all got our pictures, don't we? We've all got our pride We've all got our weak spots The ones that we try to hide Like there's nothing in the world with them It reminds me of the way things used to be She don't have to say what her face says anyway Cause that's the way she used to smile at me Cause that's the way she used to smile yeah, me. Yeah. Hey. I love that song. It's one of my favorite Drag the River songs. I'm friendly with John and Chad, and I didn't know that that, that neither of them wrote that. And 
the last time John came through Boston, he stayed with me, <clears throat> and we played a show together in Providence, and I was like, I'm going to do this tune, and he's like, oh, it's a Bill Stevenson tune. Yeah. He's like, oh, that's Bill Stevenson. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. <laughs> I love you like people love people. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play another one of my new ones. Uh, uh, this is a song about failure. Uh, it's another ballad. Um, when I said I had a lot of fun writing uh, these songs, I meant it even though a lot of them are really sad. And failure can come in, in quite a few different forms. <clears throat> I'm sure at one point or another, everyone here has felt the sting of but uh, this is this is a good one. I like this one a lot. Uh, it's called The Hard Way. It's not a Steve Earle song. <laughs> <laughs> one of my songs. <laughs> hey, pretty baby, are you ready for me? It's a good rockin' daddy down from hey, Tennessee. Tennessee. All right, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not off the bat. All right, I'm really kidding. Pretty baby, are you ready for me? <laughs> no, <all> right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play something that I wrote that you don't know. Alright, <laughs> right, it goes like this. You came and grab on something. You can't hold. You can't touch. And it won't burn you. Cause you don't own it. So it won't hurt you. If you let someone go and they come back to you, they say it's gold. And I ain't mining for me love. And I ain't searching for me damn simple. And I've learned the hard way that he's just the price you pay. Every night I'm getting your hope And I've learned the hard way That it's just the price you pay So you better not go getting your hopes up Don't go wasting time That might be a crime I saw off that stuff. I always figured that your love would be song I'm pretty proud of. I feel like I usually write in broad strokes anyway, but this I feel like for me is kind of clever. <clears throat> so listen up. <laughs> so man, the time of need. No, I won't go getting tired at the seams. I stand tall and get tough. Cause I know that I'll be stitching myself up And I've learned the hard way That it's just the price you pay So you better not go getting your hopes up And I've learned the hard way That it's just the price you pay So you better not go getting your hopes up yeah, you better not go keeping your hopes up. Yeah, you better not go keeping your hopes up. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Uh, I've got just a couple more songs for you guys, and then uh, Dylan's gonna play. I can't wait to hear you play some yeah. of your songs. This space is really cool. Uh, this has been a pretty good trip for me. This is the last, the last show of of, uh, of my trip, but I'm gonna hang out in Pittsburgh uh, for another night and catch up with some friends. 
like I said, it's been too long since I've been here, and I really love this city. Uh, a lot of really good people here. Laura, thanks for coming. Yeah, you're welcome. I haven't seen you in so long. It's really nice to see you. I can't wait to catch up a little yeah. bit. You know, Brian, it, uh, it was nice to... Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Brian, hey Brian, it's nice to meet Brian's wife. I've known Brian a long time, but I've not met his wife. And like I said earlier, so much changes in uh, in you know what seems like short period of time. Um, but I'm really happy to know that some people that I really care about are doing well. Uh, over the last couple of years, we had some really weird kind of shit happen. There was a global pandemic, and uh, uh, you know weird health crisis that kept us all indoors for a while <clears throat> it sort of turned a bunch of people's worlds upside down every my whole I'm I love staying in touch with people and I love going out and I also uh, I have a straight job I'm a barber so I cut hair for a living and so like everything that I do is based around being in rooms of people I have a, 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 a store a storefront that's 315 square feet so like and we're busy you know so like there'll be at times there'll be 12 to 15 people in this small room waiting for their haircut and stuff and so for nine weeks uh, the state of Massachusetts forced us to shut down our business and uh, for a second I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do we didn't really know how long it was gonna last for and whether or not we were ever gonna be able to open like in in the same capacity as we have been operating uh, and I got I got, first I got very drunk, and to the point where like, uh, when I was waking up every morning, I was like, do I have COVID or am I just like brutally hung <laughs> uh, And I'm pretty sure a few of you guys also felt like that. But then, um, that wears off, you can only just punish your liver for so long. And then I started waking up early in the morning and doing another thing that I, that I, that I like to do, other than drink, which is to write songs. And I wrote an album, and um, I'm, Pretty much 110% positive that I'm not the only person that wrote uh, a, a pandemic song. But for lack of a better term, this is my apocalypse jam because for a hot second it felt like the end of the world and it was kind of cathartic to write this, but uh, it's called Wrecking Ball. It goes like this. Once again, I've only got a couple more, so thank you so much for hanging out. Dylan's going to come up and play some stars for you guys. I'm going to drink some more of those. Uh, Whatever the hell beer is that you Doug's got. <laughs> Icy Light. What is that? Icy Light. Iron oh, City. Iron City. Oh, but is that a, the, the light thing a new thing? No. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta break it down. Before we can build it up. It tear it down. Down to the sudden and wrecking ball. Wrecking balls can swing, yeah, breaking down. Breaking down every goddamn thing. She's the end of the world. Say goodbye, goodnight to all the pretty girls. She's the end of the world. It's gonna fall It's gonna fall Can you hear the birds? You hear them birds singing In the trees Yeah, that moon calm Comes and goes so easily Yeah, it's your real child Time goes by so fast in a wrecking ball. Gonna swing and break down every little thing. Yeah, just to the end of the world. Say goodbye, goodnight to all the pretty girls. Just to the end of the world. It's gonna call. And there's nothing you can do to stop. Breaking balls can swing. Nothing that's me. <laughs> for some reason, I have an alarm set for nine o'clock at night. <laughs>
Garbage night, dude. The other <laughs> night, the other night, I was playing in Brooklyn, New York, right? And it was uh, the it was the boiler room of yeah. of a of a music store. Really cool place. They built this venue out. It's awesome. It sounds like a cathedral in there. Oh, cool. And I'm playing. And I'm having a good time. It's a good good group, and everybody's kind of paying attention like you guys are. And my cousin, who lives in Jersey City, was on his way to the show. And mm-hmm. I didn't realize that I left my phone on. So, like, the phone's ringing in my back pocket, much like it is right now. And I start to think, fucking what asshole in the room has got their fucking phone on? <laughs> and, I, and I thought, I said, shit, that's my cousin. That's cousin. <clears throat> hey, Drew. <laughs> I'm in the middle of something right now. Can I call you back? <laughs> he couldn't find the place. All right, so where was I? <laughs> He's like, no, wait, I can't find it. Yeah, he did. He was wandering around outside. I was a little preoccupied. Uh, he did make his way inside, but I was done and, and meeting people. But anyway, the bridge of this pandemic song. Uh, here we go. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. Wrecking ball's gonna swing. And there's nothing you can do to stop Gonna swing and break down everything you know Hey, hey, you know You know Hey, hey, you know Here's to the end of the world Say goodbye, goodnight to all pretty girls Here's to the end of the world Hey, that's gonna call Here's to the end of the world Say goodbye, goodnight to all pretty girls Cheers to the end of the world Hey, it's gonna call Hey, it's gonna call Yeah! Awesome. I know there's a lot of stuff going on tonight, uh, you know, Halloween parties and such like that, but uh, I just want to extend my gratitude to Brian for uh, and Doug uh, and, and, and Sadie and Andrew. You guys are awesome. Thank you. You know, I, you know it's, uh, it's, it's really nice after all these years to be able to come back and hang out here. And Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. I got one last song for you guys. Uh, Like I mentioned earlier, I put out an album in 2014, and it's sort of taken me all over the place, and I'm really thankful for that. And uh, when I wrote this song, it was sort of, I thought it would be an anthem for standing up and fighting for what you believe in. But over the last few years, I realized that there's some people around here that have some Pretty strange ideals, and I don't necessarily agree with with that kind of stuff. So now, uh, when I introduce this song, I like to say that this song is about standing up for what you believe in, as long as it's done with kindness, love, and respect for your brothers and sisters. This is this is uh, my my anti-fascist, anti-racist, yeah. pro-love, pro-kindness. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rachel. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's called going down swinging. Thank you yeah. for hanging. Yeah. <laughs> Every breath you take is the beginning of a new day. The sun is shining on your face. I hate to see you this way. Though it may not last but a moment, this moment's all we got. I've been ripping my hair out, trying to be someone I'm not. And I'm gonna go down swinging, no matter how hard I fall. The grave that I've been digging, mine all alone. Every second you waste, here's a sin you can't.
day I'll repent Unless you try to bury yourself To kill you in the air But keep on coming up and roses As the lives go passing us by I'm not looking for answers I'll just probably lie And I'm gonna go down swinging No matter how hard I fall Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank